the show! I am Wolfie Bane, your host for today, and we are back with the final part of The Wolf Among Us. If it loads. Come on, game. <laughs> there we go. So, hey, how you doing? I hope you have a fantastic day, fantastic time, fantastic evening, and a fantastic life right now. Hey, everyone. I am back. And it should be a grand old time, to say the least. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to finishing this game. I'm really curious as to how it's going to end. As I can remember, this is the, uh, the only part that I remember pretty much anything of uh, from my original playthrough. From my, Not my original playthrough. From watching someone else play through. I have never played this game before. Uh, and the only part that I can remember is in this act. Uh, it doesn't, it's not the ending or anything for reference. Um, it's just like one bit that I can remember. And anyone who's played this game before, I imagine maybe knows the part. Knowing me, at least. So, and from what I've said previously. <laughs> but yeah, so, I will once again say, uh, as I have been doing for the past bunch of streams in this game, this stream is going to be just act. Five. We end when we end. I will not go too much longer than the final part of this uh, act. Just won't. Uh, so, yeah, basically it's going to be act five. It's going to be nice. Dawn, sword, just as a little uh, bit up for the YouTube pod. And that will be the game done and that will be the stream done for today. So just bear with that. It's going to be only like uh, an hour and a half to two hours. I don't know how long. Most of it been sticking to like an hour and a half-ish. So. so they'll be around there. They'll be like an hour to hour and a half. I imagine maybe because the final act will be two hours. I don't fucking know. But yeah, just prepare and bear with them, okay? So. What else do we have? What do you have? Okay. I know the game I'm going to play after this. Uh, I might take next week off. I'm not 100% sure yet. We shall see. Um, yeah, I haven't decided. But, whatever happens, uh, we should have a good old time today. So, look forward. And we do have Altera tomorrow, by the way. So, do remember to tune into that as well. So, yeah. Let's get into it. I'm excited. What's the app called? Ooh, Cry Wolf, and it's already got Werewolf Big B on it. Uh, you know, that's a good start. I don't know how this is gonna go. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <laughs> he deserved that. Not if I can avoid it. Sounds so harsh to say. No, oh, Faith. No. Paul Holly's sister. There's Lily. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send yeah, me to the farm, Yeah, I don't think I, I didn't send Colin. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Ooh, that was a silver bullet. From Bloody Mary. Fucking cool character. Oh, God, Bigby! That hurt. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. Yeah, I've got to bring he him back alive. That's trial. the important bit. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? You bastard. We have a great deal to discuss. Ooh, the intro! This game is 
so good. It's so fucking good. I'm really looking forward to seeing the ending. Also, because it's prepping me, because I know The Wolf Among Us 2, I think, is coming out next year, right? So, it means I get to play that. I might play that one on release. I'm not sure. Let's see how much it costs. Or if anyone would like to buy me that game and send it to me on Steam, uh, when it comes... Uh, when it comes out or becomes available, do do it. I will I will massively appreciate you will get a massive shout out and I will try to repay you in some way. You've come a long way. I'm broke, just bear with me. <laughs> you must be tired. Okay. I'm gonna just brace because I don't. I imagine it's gonna be talking for a and bit. This is gonna go correct. south. You haven't had yep. a lot of rest recently. That's silver bullets. Fucking bastard. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? No. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very. It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. What? Well, gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. He's like, he's not gonna. He's like, he knows I'm not gonna just kill him. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. There's a lot of reasons. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that. fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. <laughs> Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. Oh. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. Yeah. No. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen. But who did you think it's Georgie. committed these crimes? I think Georgie did it. I hope you don't still think I did it. No, you did. It was Georgie, all right? Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. Yeah. However, that seemed pretty like plain. I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why you should you have just it? kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why I'm kill actually them? curious. Does it matter? Yes! Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. No, I do believe he did it. You will be but... silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? They don't care, it's not them on the chopping block. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift, ensuring our continued cooperation. I'm taking what the both hell? Of you. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. Mm. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell them out are. just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one. Who the shit do you think you fucking are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. 
but he's not taking me anywhere. He's I'll not. roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. It was definitely not going to, you piece of shit. You're evil. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. <coughs> Why negotiate when you can just decide? Mary. I'll pick a fight with Mary. Bring it. Hi. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Who blew the fucking table? Yeah. With his one antler. Get back, you fucking gremlin. Over here! Oh, he's another You're dimension! Done, wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Ah. I'm glad I killed the guy because I think I'd be able to get two of them if I didn't. Ooh, he's gonna feel that. Oh god. Nope. This way. Do you want to get stomped again? Oh. Bonk. Stay down. He hops the table into the other dimension. That's safe. Uh, come on, Georgia. Okay. Oh, shit. Beginning of the end. You better run! Right. Okay. Oh, 
most convenient is my shirt and um, pants. I'm commandeering this pair of shoes, these trousers, and this shirt. And apparently the tie. Cody's car, let's examine it. Do we get any Book of Fable entries, I wonder? Uh, another achievement with no Book of Fables. Which means I'm assuming I missed one. Yeah. There, there, there had to have been one in there somewhere. Well, I guess we're going in. Another achievement. This house of straw. Come on, we can't stay here. Correct. Uh, hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? I ran it's the guy okay. through. Take your time, slowly. Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, fuck. Well, it won't be your fault. I'm assuming he's gonna Shit. die, but... Hello, Bigby. Hello, Joe. I hope you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. I know. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Ah, Please, but... Sheriff. I'm not gonna hit him. The guy's been Haven't you done enough? Look at him. Why He's is she dying. Protecting you him? can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, why did Why'd you? you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what you the fuck You tell me an happened? answer, dude! Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't right. too thrilled. Okay. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. I buy You that. think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Cause it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill him. So you them. still held the gun. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the yeah, trigger. Yeah, exactly. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. No, worry, I'm definitely getting the crooked man, dude. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Oh, what would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. Yeah, just something happened to her. It was them or Vivian. So you oh. tell me. If freeing Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? Wait. How is she involved in all yeah. this? Yeah. This is the original. The oh, girl the original, with the ribbon. That's the original I'm ribbon. sure you've heard the stories. Nope, not couldn't at all. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. 
to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. I'm not gonna just You know kill what her. happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, mm. a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up and everything just <coughs> turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> I do actually kind of get if it. you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can. Don't about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? You hummed It's my it. life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. What? Wait. Don't. I'm sick of everyone whoa, whoa. thinking that they can just whoa. do what they want with my whoa. life. I didn't think that would be the response. It would be different nope. Here. Hand off the, the ribbon, fun. lady. Vivian, I didn't mean. Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith <coughs> and Lily, to all of them. Hand off the ribbon. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. We'll figure something out. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! This is a good I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Whoa, Vivian! Whoa, whoa. Don't! Oh, oh. Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 oh, fuck. no! Well, that explains the action. Why do you have to do cup. that, Vivian? Explain the cup. Vivian! Damn it! Jesus. Christ. Vivian, Poor I last. didn't fucking mean it. I was just... I, well, I know you, Georgie. That, I'll believe oh. you on this one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. <gasps> oh yeah, that's uh, that's not coming back. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find Everyone's him. Everyone's telling me to kill him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. Don't worry about the crooked <sighs> man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river. All right. Thank you. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? That's not who I am. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's not. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Oh, if, if he's gonna I die either way, I did. I'm gonna kill him quick, cause that's my thought. All right, Georgie. Chose to end his suffering. <laughs> I just ripped out his guts, like all of them. Fucking hell, that's his large intestine. Oh, well, the big bad wolf did what the big bad wolf do. Because if it was like, l leave him, not leave him to die, I'd have considered it, but... If he's gonna die either way, he's gonna either die in absolute agony, because stomach wounds 
They kill you slowly. Don't ask how I know that. <laughs> Honestly, it's just biology classes if you want the actual answer. <laughs> and quite a few too many, like, um, animal documentaries. Jesus. Shepherd Metalworks. Ah! I recognize that building. Yeah, this is the part I remember. This is the bit that I remember is in here. It's one of the bits that's in here because it is a metalworks that I remember. Okay, let's read the book of fables first because we've got two in there. Oh, it was Vivian's and the uh, brothels. Okay. Vivian's story. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death. Any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but was constantly won. But he was constantly won by the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone one night, when she was sleeping, attempted to remove it. Pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke, saw her husband was doing, and apparently she pulled away, afraid the ribbon was not from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions. The husband was able to understand. She realized she couldn't trust him, decided to leave. Lived alone for the rest of her days in their homelands, preferring safety of isolation to risk another betrayal. Ow! For reference, if someone says, no, don't do this, and does it seriously, just don't do it. <laughs> the Bundan Pie, Vivian George's place. Okay. Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands, and they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival, however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what level money they had, they opened the Bundan Pie, operating a strip would not have been the most desirable occupation, but I figured it was better than to be in charge of a place like this to be in forced desperation to work at one. That makes sense. Okay. So maybe the cars one? Yeah. <coughs> Still warm. He's Ooh. here, all right. I mean... He's probably got Mary with him, and he has some, he evidently has some kind of, like, teleporting, spatially power, right? And Mary definitely does, so. Of course. Yeah, he's cool. oh. Break the lock. Just rusted. I guess it was just rusted. Even though we were just, we just bust the fucking lock. So one way doing it. Could you be either with Big B because he's ridiculously strong? Okay, what we got here? Yep. That's the box of this symbol. So this is where they've been sending these. Oh, sending these? The best safety is safety device is a careful worker. Kinda right. Big metal bolt though. This is a proper metal foundry. Yeah, yeah, I recognize this. <laughs> Big B Wolf. Ooh. Mary. The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> oh. Is it not this way? Oh, yes, okay. I was just being dumb. There's a coffin. Is it Dracula? Debts, collateral. You used to be something. Room. Surveillance. Ooh. Big B Wolf, Big B Wolf, Big B Wolf, Big Wolf. Jesus, there's a lot on me here. Me with snow. I see there's me with snow. That's Nerissa, Faith, and. I guess Lily? Right? Because she was glamoured most of the time. There's Snow and Holly. There's me and Faith in the game. There's me and Faith in the game again. There's Big B just at some point. And there's Narissa and Faith. Oh! Okay. So they were arguing about something? Or at least, uh... Faith was mad about something? Jesus. They used to fear you. It's a fucking breaking They'd deal. hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Nasty. 
chest. Bleach and a hat. Fucking hell! That's kind of dark. Okay, we're going in here. Ooh, it's a workbench. Are we going to craft something? Caution, I protect require this area. Danger, only authorized personnel may operate equipment. Okay. Oh, this is where they made the silver bullets. Okay. Super. I guess that makes sense. The big bad wolf. Jesus, Mary, don't do that. Ow! It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. Why are these people so I good at hiding? But I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aww. She's confident. That's the problem. She's one of the few sure people that won't back that. down. <laughs> Cut this shit out. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Oh. Or was she too busy fucking whatever oh, breeze God. headed through town? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? This is the part I remembered. It's the Bigby Wolf versus Bloody Mary fight. Ooh. I remember anything that happens after this, but I remember the fight. So I know what happened. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And I'll try not to fuck it up too bad, because I know there's quick times. Okay. So Mary's actually in her fable form. She's a fucking demon. Ow. 
Shifting into the giant, he is in a uh, angry spot right now. Days, days of that instant zero. You've got such a human. Hello, Bigby. Now. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Silver bullets. This gun holds six rounds. I won't miss next time. Before you Five do anything friends. with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's the that's plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. That's the plan. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back? Yeah, that's such a good question. Why don't you let me worry about that? You've got an angle. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. You know what I just did I'm to no Mary. I'm murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out, but I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Yep. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. 
He's dead, isn't he? Yep. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? Yep. I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! Come on. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. I'm not gonna You're punch. A trial I want to punch the guy, but I'm gonna spare him. I mean, he has to come for punishment. For some follow. I want it because he's got some angle, but like, he has an angle. He clearly has an angle that he's gonna work, but. I know. I We're know. not just going to tear but his head we off. We have in to the do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Hey, Grin's on my side. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just ate Bloody Mary. Later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. Yeah, that's I'm just smirk. Glad you made it back in one piece. Aww. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes. What are you waiting what do you have for? To say you for murderer. Yourself? My you wife killed Lily. Hey, Where the fuck do you and get what about off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to you people? Said. You're a fucking Sir, crook. Yes. You should be ashamed. Shit hole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. Yep. So you see, the culprit has been punished. That's the best There's way. No that doesn't Don't say I killed him. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the what charges. other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. Yeah. <clears throat> She's gonna read the list of fucking charges you are the way charged you can say I'm not with guilty. the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members mm -hmm. of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. Misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh. Yes. And resisting arrest. Now, is there anything <laughs> you would like to say? <clears throat> you cuffed First of all, you got? I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its yeah. citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Yeah, Upon we are going to get thrown down the witching body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it then. We promised you a chance to defend True. yourself. 
and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more yeah. secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Yeah. This is ridiculous. He's got an angle though, because he's a mastermind. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Bullshit. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, <coughs> I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Bullshit! Any of you actually believe this bullshit? No. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, <laughs> it's true loyal to the end they do it because they want to protect me as i protected them you understand wanting to protect what you care about don't you you'd do anything you might even give up an innocent man just to save someone yeah right they don't do it because they want to protect you you intimidate people you scare tactics they're afraid if they don't follow orders they'll end up dead mm -hmm. let me explain this to you my employees are just that Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! Yeah! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You're a mob when boss! When the government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. Yeah. They asked me I knew it was a good choice! Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It is. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. <coughs> yeah, okay, Snow. But believe me, I truly want yeah, the best does. for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Things haven't been great for a while now, but 
will do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. Yes! We got Beast You're on side! You're still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town yes! is over. Hell yeah! And those girls will have their justice. Yeah, we've even got Greenleaf! Hell to the fucking yeah. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. What? I just... Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me. Oh, this is going to be me yes. ripping out these. Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. That don't make him a murderer. Doesn't it? What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it in... Oh, that was the wrong thing before. to say. How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided <coughs> to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. I don't it believe simply you. simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I the know... The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean a certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Can I have who will evidence? protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Yes? Excuse Did me. Did evidence just walk in? <sighs> I wanted to make sure Hell I yes, to say Marissa. something. Hell yes, Marissa! Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. I got you back, Marissa. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't... Just know shut up! Hell you yeah. enslaved us for years. Hell us your yeah! Stories about what you do told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. 
And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm Nerissa! Your... <laughs> my name is Nerissa. She's a scary okay, lady. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fuck. Yes! Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. it You're winning the crowd! Him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on this. We Hell all heard you yes! Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good yep. enough for me. Me too. Down so that's the it. fucking right. down wishing down the well. well. Nah, no, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. No, we're throwing him down the You're witching well. Rats fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what yeah. you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock no, him up forever. No, we can't do that. he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? He will. I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So away. we get rid it's of him. Too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think This we... is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. You should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Why not? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Thank that you. makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Yeah! Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Down. No. Just do what you think is right. Oh, I'm actually getting the call. Down the witching well. I want to rip him apart. Yes, Sheriff. Do Throw him down the well. Right. Everyone, I'm- Not this way! Oh! There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. You're trying to choke Think me of out. Me when you try to sleep, you're going to miss me. Witching well. No. I, I won't. won't. Table Tower, remember that. I was very tempted to For tell Lily stuff. and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. I didn't tear his head off. I was very tempted at the end there. Achievement, the north wind blows. Which I believe was his dad. I like that I got one day later. He heals up very fast from even injuries from Bloody Mary. You need a nap, dude. Hey, Sheriff. Fly catcher! Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. You're awesome, fly catcher. This Thanks. fucking line. 
I'm getting smiles. Hey, Gren. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Well, that's as busy as hell. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Okay. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Colin! I got you back, buddy. Yellow Brick Roadhouse. I just noticed that now. Weapon Muffet Market. Sorry, Toad. Oh, Garland! Jesus! You were actively you like. We have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Yeah? I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, she was nice. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one. Oh, the best. it's one of his bugs. Oh, Willow Beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, cause when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Did you about ready to send the out? kid off well? What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there. And they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around. Uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yep. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday scene. Yeah. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. He's a giant monster! Who's... Bye, Mr. Wolf. See ya, TJ. Goodbye, TJ. You're a good kid. Hey, Bigby. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? <laughs> That's how you answer. Good poker face. Grandmaster Librarian. Saying goodbye? Oh, hey, Narissa. Hi. Hi. Save my ass there, lass. You're awesome. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's a hard hat. Easy to, to forget. I know yeah. it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I guess. I mean, if anyone's gonna get it, he gets it, right? Listen, I. I came here because I have to tell you something. Sure. What, what is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Yeah. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. 
But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and oh. Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I I had no choice. Oh, we she had turned to him understand. in. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they'd go just yeah. to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? She turned him in. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, yeah. he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. Yeah. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I that didn't want anyone was... to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things yeah. over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, well, she's okay with it. She's like, trying to help out. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club... Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. Jesus. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Oh, he... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. Ah. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. Yeah. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their yeah. deaths. I wasn't gonna let Ooh. him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I I left Faith's oh! head at your doorstep. Yikes. Yeah. I walked her over here and I left her just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them. So that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. Yeah. So you, you started wow. all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all of the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, yeah. we do it in silence. I was wondering and about the why the head showed up. We just fade like we this never with Lily as well, I guess. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right Aww. thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. There's no remember You've that. changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Aww. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. 
That's what Faith told us. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Let her go. Huh. Is that Faith? Is Nerissa Faith somehow? And the real Nerissa died? Maybe? That was... That was a curveball. Huh. I'll see you around, Wolf. Yeah! Was she... Was she actually... Faith? I have so many questions. Oh, that was it! That was the, that was the game! Okay, good ending. Damn! That made me think. What do you do, Georgie? You win 68 points of kill, Georgie. Yeah, I had, so I had to. It was like, it was mercy killing because the guy was gonna bleed out and we couldn't get into a doctor in time. Poor bastard. He's evil bastard, definitely, but poor bastard. But poor guy. That was a bad, would have been a bad way to go. How do you give the crook? Uh, did, you give, did you give the Crooked Man a trial? Yes, I did. And 90% of people uh, also brought him back to life. I wonder if I'd have just killed him. Would it have been just so much quicker? How do you punish Crooked Man? 38.6% uh, of the players threw Crooked Man down the witching well. That's about a third. That's a little over a third. And there were three pretty solid options. I imagine it's the witching well and kill him are the two biggest. I don't think lock him up was a good option. Do you set TJ's gift for snow? You were 98.5! Damn, guys! Damn! Okay. TJ's gift for snow. What did we last person to You and 54.8% of players say, I hope I've done some good here. Aww. It's kind of adorable. Kind of adorable. Beast, you lied to him about seeing you outside the. Okay, this is my special stats. Okay, lied to him about seeing uh, you outside the apartment. You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her, and you impressed her with your detective skills. Nice. Uh, you fought him after the interrogation with Bluebird. Yeah, fuck that guy. He's a piece of shit. Butcher, you'd offer him protection in the business office. Nice. Uh, you gave him a drink when he asked one in your apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. Oh. Huh. Crooked man. You took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Dom, you killed him. I mean, I did a few more things, but yeah, I guess. Uh, Greenleaf, you offered your job. Uh, Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. Lawrence, he's alive! You went to his place first. You prevented him from death. Yeah, he, I, I think I made good choice with going there first. Because the guy would have been dead. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back to life. And I did. Killed him afterwards, but brought him back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. Yeah. And TJ, you accepted his beetle as promised gift. So. Oh, that was a big... That was a big that is it! A little shorter than I expected, honestly. Like, it was, um, about an hour and 15 minutes. Holy fuck, that game is good. I'm really looking forward to the second one. Because I know they are bringing out a second one. I don't know when. I think it's next year. Right? I think I saw 2023 somewhere. It could be the year after, honestly. But I'm really looking forward. I might end up getting the rest of the Telltale games. I might. I'll, I'll have a look at it. Uh, definitely it's like The Walking Dead. I'll have a serious thing about The Walking Dead, because I've seen The Walking Dead a playthrough as well. Ages ago, again. I know this, and that's supposed to be the other, like, one of the other really, really highly recommended ones is The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, and, uh, The Walking Dead. Apparently the two best. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll be in time super soon. Because I've got Devil May Cry to play after this. But, yeah. Oh, that was good. And yeah, I'll definitely be playing more of the Telltale games. Um, going forward, I think. When is an entirely different matter. But I definitely think that I should. Because I really enjoyed this. I've heard a lot of people say that I should at least play this one. Because they said that this one will be my favourite. 
So, I know that all the others aren't probably going to measure up for me personally. This is very me. Like, it's a detective story. You play as the big bad wolf, who is one of my favorite fairy tale characters, for reference to everyone. Um, and also, I have fun stories about uh, the big bad wolf at LARP, because my character was actually the avatar of the big bad wolf um, previously at uh, the LARP I go to. I, I was actually the big bad wolf for a bit, which was very fun. And I literally did uh, huff and puff and blow the blow the house down at one point as well, which was it was great. So yeah, it was it was a good time. I've really enjoyed this game, genuinely like super enjoyed it. Continue the story, prick up the graphic novel. Yeah, go and grab the graphic novel, guys, because I've heard it's so good. I've heard the fa that um, the fable actual novel is fantastic, like absolutely phenomenal. So. Go, go check it out. Okay, now to extras. Achievements. What did I get? Okay, achievement. Oh, it's just to do the parts, I'm assuming. Must library a lot book. Oh, we actually got all the book of. We actually did get all the book of fable entries for episode five. Nice! We got one! We got one, guys! And Book of Fables now. So we actually have all of episode 5. Uh, yeah, that's the lot. Okay. So what's this? The Winter Wolf, Bigby's mother. Oh! Bigby Mother Winter fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs, but he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter. Heartbroken and alone, she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby. But as the run to the... He was the run? Fuck. He was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bibby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bibby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. From then, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to control his father by making pay for the pain he caused his family. Oh, God. Yeah, because I believe the, the... It's the North, right? Was his father? Yeah, it's the North Wind. Bigby has basically said, I'm gonna fight a... God. That's what the North Wind, I believe, is in Fables. It is literally a god. But fucking hell. Damn. But yeah, so he's got six older brothers. Jesus. The big bad wolf, Bigby's true form. Bigby's true form is a giant eight foot tall wolf. In addition to his iconic cover puff power, he also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for a normally long amount of time without making it impossible for him to drown. Oh! That's kind of cool. But look at him! God, that's a cool looking monster. Potentially look forward in Geddon to seeing monsters that are based on this. Uh, because that was actually a thing originally. There is a character who might show up in the Geddon game, so a bit of a... Bit of a teaser for you guys to watch my other show, Get in the Center of Magic, which is a D&D show that plays every other Saturday uh, from 6pm to uh, about 9-ish uh, GMT or whatever the equivalent is for the UK at that time. Um, it will not be on this week. This week is the 24th. This is the week of the 24th of uh, November 2022 to date this. It is not this Saturday, it is the Saturday after, and it will be every two weeks that, provided we're not missing a session, but it will always be on that weekend. So, just bear with, guys. And yet, for a bit of a teaser, there is a character in Geddon who is based on the Big Bad Wolf. Uh, as an NPC who might show up at some point in the story because there is a character in the world who is based on the Big Bad Wolf. So, bit of a fun time there. Mary's loyalty, part of the job. Billy Mary began working with the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the Crooked Man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys it immensely and would defend the Crooked Man to the death. Mostly because she finds it fun. Fair enough, you know what? <laughs> Fell down justice. When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the traditional pleas is all of all my hearing in front of communal of or community or concerned parties. Oh, the exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules. These type of situations, the extent which police are upheld, can depend on who's being on who's being in charge. And who's being charged. Yeah. But I'm guessing that's for getting like everyone to agree with me. I assume. The 
New Order, Snow White in charge. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as Director of Operations, Deputy Mayor in his absence. Uh, many would say this promotion is a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and Percy ensured uh, many Fables made to the New World safely. She has been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Yeah. Sheriff Bigby. A flea in the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe. With Fable Connolly quickly developing the New World, Snow White and Feather Top tracked down the wolf and often passed Fable Town. He agreed, and Snow cut. Oh! Snow cut him with a lycan. Lycanthropy. Lycan. I can never pronounce it. Lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form at will. Bibby became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration, but because of his violent past, many Fables didn't trust him and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. Oh, so he's actually not allowed in the farm. I just thought it was because he could change the human form. But So Bigby is a giant wolf. He's a, he's a half giant wolf, half god. And he's a werewolf as well. So he's a straight up werewolf. Because he was cut with an I didn't know that. Neat. But yeah, obviously he's not allowed in the farm because he's a giant fucking monster. <laughs> So that's where they had to do. That was cool. That was cool. I love that game. And I loved reading the little extra files. They were really cool. So, see you guys tomorrow for Altera D&D. Do tune in for that, guys. It's going to be a riot. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic evening, every single one of you. Keep playing video games. Keep being awesome. You guys are the best audience on Twitch. Uh, yeah, see you around, seriously. Um, it should be fun tomorrow. No, as in, no uh, Geddon on Saturday, but we've got Altera tomorrow, so it should be a good old time. And, yeah. Tune in. Tune in soon. Uh, I, as I said, I don't know if I'll be continuing next week. Uh, I might have a week off. I might not. You'll find out probably on Monday. Uh, but, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. This has been great. Um, a bit of a shorter game compared to what I usually do as well. But, um... If I do not have decide to have a week off, um, I will essentially be um, starting Devil May Cry 5 uh, next week. So, do look forward to that. Otherwise, just see you guys around. Have a fantastic time. Good night.